Zenkets and Nevis tourism representatives held meetings with several international airlines to boost the number of seats available into the destination, according to Ellison Tommy Thompson, the new chief executive officer of the Zenkets Tourism Authority. According to CEO Thompson, airlines are facing various challenges stemming from the COVID-19 pandemic and it affects the way airlines have to operate. Thompson and team traveled to Texas to participate in Roots Americas 2022, where airline officials and senior decision makers met to discuss air services. Last week, we met with over nine airlines at uh, Roots. We met with um, American Airlines, United, Delta, uh, also Flair, Air Canada, British Airways. And two things came about. One, determines uh, what's going to happen with uh, flights coming into St. Kitts. A number of the airlines, uh, and Southwest in particular, who we spoke with, they're looking at how they rebuild their domestic uh, routes, because what they're finding is when they bring the aircraft down to St. Kitts, the aircraft is out for the entire day. So they're then able to do a number of shorter hauls within the U.S., so that's what they're looking at uh, as one of the options. I think we'll also point out that, uh, Minister alluded to it, Delta, for example, they've got the planes, but no crew. American uh, and United, they've got the crew, but no planes uh, because of delays in the aircraft being delivered to, uh, to those airlines. But what we have seen is that American has agreed to give us daily service um, this summer into uh, St. Kitts from Miami and then double daily out of uh, on Saturdays. We are working very closely with United in order for them to bring the flight in earlier. And then we're also looking at additional routes that they can look at us doing for us. One of the things we also spoke with um, Air Canada about is again, bringing in the flight a little earlier and seeing how long we can um, have this, the service last. As part of the revised marketing plan, Thompson said more resources have been applied to major cities in North America where non-stop flights to St. Kitts are available. Glenn Bart reporting for SK Newsline.